Boulder Mountain, I just want to take a moment and share with you where we've been as a church and where we're heading. If you remember last fall, for those of you with us, we added a second service at 9 a.m. Our 1030 service was full. We were out of room and I challenged a number of you. Would you be willing to move to the nine o'clock hour to free up a chair at 1030? I'm so grateful that you've done that. Our 1030 service is still full and more and more people are, are attending that nine o'clock service. And I believe that will only grow as the sun comes up a little bit earlier and it's warmer out earlier in the morning as well. But that's created some challenges for us. First, our children's ministry areas. Those environments are too small and they're out of date. So we need to address that. The number of children who are coming no longer fit into the spaces that we currently have. I talked to a volunteer the other day who said, anyone who questions you on that should come and serve with our preteen ministry for an hour. And I could not agree more. I'm grateful for all of our volunteers in both children's ministry and student ministries who are serving so faithfully on a regular basis. But we have some very real space challenges when it comes to our children's ministry area. It's also created some parking challenges. If you show up at the right time for that 1030 service, you realize there's no more parking. So if you are able, I'm asking for those of you who are able to park on McClellan Road, it allows us to leave our best spaces available for our guests, for our young families, and for our seniors who need to be a little bit closer to the door. Again, if you're able to, thank you for that. Here's a couple things that we're doing to address these challenges. Number one, we've had a team of individuals who have been meeting on a regular basis to identify what our next steps are as a church, to identify what do we do with our current facilities, what do we do with our land that we own, what do we do to create space both temporarily and the long-term solution as well. So be praying for that team as they continue to meet and hopefully present a plan to the church in the near, in the very new, near future. Uh, the second step we're taking that we identified late last year, and we put it into the budget and you approved our budget, is that we're hiring a full-time next-gen staff person. This person will oversee birth through 18. And they will oversee a children's ministry, they'll oversee students, they'll be part of the planning and, and programming and leading and recruiting volunteers. And so be praying for that individual, that search is currently taking place. And we hope that hire to be made during the second quarter of this year. And I just want to say thank you to Cindy Sagas, who's been leading our children, and Mike and Judy Johnson, who's been leading, they've been leading our students. They've done, both, both of them have done such a great job. That's led us to this point of saying, we need, we need to hire a staff person for this really important role. One of the greatest assets that the church has is our children, how we steward the resources to minister to children and our students. And so be praying for this hire, be praying for this team as they meet, and be praying your involvement here at Boulder Mountain as God does and brings new people and does some new things here. Uh, where can you find a place to serve? Again, I wanna say thank you to all those serving in our students and volunteer uh, children's ministry areas. Thank you for that. I'm so grateful for you. And it's an exciting time here at Boulder Mountain. Uh, the best, I believe, the best is yet to come as we make disciples, as we help people find and follow Jesus here at Boulder Mountain. I love you. Looking forward to what God has for us in the future.